Good morning. Class will start in one minute. So if you're doing our playlist this morning, I've posted that on our page this morning <gasps> as well. Um, I'm keeping mine really soft so that um, I'm allowed to publish it later because if they hear music, I'm copyright. So get yourself ready. See you in one minute. <laughs> See you. Morning, Jenny. Morning, Logan. Morning, Kerry. Hello, Peggy. Maddie, are you and the children doing yoga this morning? So is your sister. Kids are going to do it this morning. I might do, um, Teresa has suggested I do a class just for kids. So maybe um, today or tomorrow, the girls and I will do a kids class. How does that sound? Thank you. Okay. Morning, Linda. Morning, Robin. I'm assuming I'm the right way up because no one has said you're sideways. Still got 30 seconds. to our yoga class because I've been going through a little bit of anxiety lately and I thought you might have been as well. So click pause please. There you go. So we're going to begin with the alternate nostril breath. So your right hand, two fingers between your eyebrows so you just sit comfortably. So your thumb can block one nostril and then your ring finger the other. Alternate nostril breath is excellent for reducing stress, increasing calm. Helps you take that really deep breath. Begin by blocking the right nostril. And so you inhale through the left for five, six, seven, eight counts. Fill your lungs to capacity and then block both nostrils. Pause. You release the right, release fully. So you're blocking the left now. And when you have completed that out breath, press your tummy in a little. And that helps you expel a little more breath. And then you inhale through the right. Keep going. So at your pace, with your breath. Now I'm standing, but you're sitting. You can stand if you want. Breathing normally. Tapping on your heart, tapping on your head. Repeat an affirmation. I am safe. I am loved. I am well. I am healthy. Deep breath. 
change hands. Repeat your affirmation. You can add whatever you need. I am safe. I am well. I am healthy. I am loved. Everything is going to be okay. Now I'd like you to lie down, please. Head up these ankles. Let's see, little Rosie, I need some space, honey. Rose. Rose. Space. Rose. Rose. It doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. Lie on top of her. Just lie, please, honey. Lie down and make yourself comfortable. Deep. Peaceful breaths. Deep breaths towards your belly, expanding. release the anxiety and release the stress your breath is your first port of call your deep breath lets go of the stress response and increases calm peace and the immune system so while you are lying down resting butterfly bring the soles of the feet together, bend the knees, let them open so your hip flexors are relaxed. Take deep breaths. <laughs> Stay with your breath. Butterfly, letting your belly rise on the inhale. Softly exhale. That's good. Very, very good. And softly, knees together. Slide along the earth. Full body stretch. And as you breathe out, bring both knees towards your chest and do a free choice back roll. That's it. Whatever your body needs. We have Rose is joining in on that one. <laughs> Body stretch. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, bring your right knee to your chest. Press. <laughs> Take your right leg to the sky. Hands behind. Inhale. On the exhale, bring your leg in. Stronger option, lifting shoulders, lifting left leg. You know, I am used to distractions. I've worked at the beach for 11 years. 11 years? 11 years. And we've had heaps, haven't we? Boot camps, runners, people walking through, dogs, and no cats.
chest press. I mean, you know something when they do this one. Take your leg to the sky, flex your foot, inhale. On the exhale, bring that leg towards you, option one. Lift your shoulders, lift your right leg, option two. Take your right foot over your left. Take your hand on the inside of your thigh and pressing open. Option one. And option two, slide hands through. Take your hands towards your shins. Press. This is a little stronger. You can also slide your foot down a little. Strongest option, straighten. The left leg. Take your hands above. Inhale. And exhale. Bring that leg towards you. You can also slide that a little further. Stronger again. Lifting shoulders. You can walk the hips down a little and press. Both knees, chest, little free choice. Good. Full body stretch, slide along the earth, inhale. And on the exhale, oh, you bend your knees, you cross your left foot over, take your hand on and press is option one. Right knee to chest, hands slip through is option two. Straighten leg, hands to the top, inhale. And exhale, bring your leg towards you. You can slide this foot down, just be aware of how your knee feels, no pressure on the knee. And lift your shoulders, stronger option. You can either roll to your side and come to a seated position, or you can do beach ball rolls and come up to the top. Now, if you're also doing yoga with your pets, please take a photo so we can see and you can paste it onto our timeline. Ready? Cross-legged, hands to heart. Circle of joy, inhale, take hands just under chin and look up at the beautiful blue sky. Exhale to press, 
inhale, lift, and exhale, release. That's good. Clasp hands, breathe in, open heart, and breathe out to the sky. Breathing in, right hand to the earth, breathing out. Sitting bones towards the earth, lengthen, soften shoulders, turn heart. Every couple of deep breaths, you'll be able to go a little deeper. You may be on your hand or your forearm. Stay with your deep breath. Present, powerful in this moment. Top hand behind, take this hand across, lengthen, breathe in, twist, breathe out. Flow your deep breath, keep lengthening through the spine, adjust whenever you need to, to make this right for your body. Turn to the center, change your cross-legged or your half lotus, change your feet, center, hands to heart, circle of joy, inhale, hands under chin, look up, exhale, press, round through the back, breathe into the sky, good, and release, very, very good. Open your heart and look up. Inhale to the sky, exhale, left hand to the earth, hand or forearm, reach across. <laughs> Turn your heart towards the sky. hand behind, other arm across, lengthen, breathe in, twist, breathing out. Large butterfly, soles of the feet together, circle. Circle the other way. Hold your arm. <laughs> and 
from the center. Breathe in, lift heart. <laughs> and breathing out, fold forward. You can take your hands towards your feet and press forward or you can slide the hands underneath and use your grip to go further forward, down towards the feet. Stay with your deep, flowing breath. Extend your legs, give them a little shake. Hands behind, inhale. And on the exhale, pressing into the earth is option one, lifting off the earth is option two. Tuck in your pelvic floor, belly button. Pelvic floor, lifting. Inhale, lift, and exhale, reach forward. Now your hands, wherever they are, is where you grip. You can go further forward, walk your bottom back. If you reach your toes, press the toes back. Some stronger options is pressing knees towards the earth, lifting heels, straight spine, inhale. On the exhale, you go forward and then down. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. And every couple of breaths, you will let go. You'll go a little further, a little softer. Well done. Little shake. Hero's posture. Option three. Kneeling. Feet wrapped around. If this is too strong, half. So one leg tucks behind, the other leg tucks in. If this isn't right for your knees or your thighs or your back, cross-legged or whatever leg serves you. From your hero's posture, take your right arm across and press, lift the spine. Turn your chin towards your shoulder. Deep breath.
small of your back, Mula Bandha. So pelvic floor, belly button, press in. Inhale. And on the exhale, press your hips forward. Tummy in, glutes switched on, lift the heart, look up, lift the sky. So if you have any bulging discs, you need to keep that part of your spine straight. If it was in your lower back, for instance, you would be focusing more on the upper back. Squeeze shoulder blades back. And release, cat, take your hands beneath your shoulders, tucking under. Cat cow, arch on the inhale, tuck, lift, press, squeeze pelvic floor on the exhale. Boy, oh boy, they like one there. Come over to this side. Returning to your hero's posture. So, option three, strongest option. Option two, you would take the other leg tucked up behind. And option one is your cross-legged or whatever serves you. This time, with folding arms behind the back is option one. Shoulder blades squeeze. Option two, head of a cow arms. Release one hand behind, slide the other hand up until your fingertips meet. You can also use a strap if you have one. Monkey grip and use the top hand to lift the lower. So for option one, you are folding arms behind your back, shoulders back, heart to sky. And if you would like to add some neck rolls, you lift the chin as though you are sipping champagne. Take your chin over towards your shoulders, press as though you're looking, oh, what's over there? And then you roll along the top of your chest. You lift up and you look over that shoulder and check out what's going on. And roll back. So, and then you roll across. So as long as you're doing both sides, you can change sides. You can do lots on the one. You can change each round. Whatever. Back to centre, release your arms, wrap your arms around you and give yourself a big hug. Come up to the top, soft camel, number two. Hands on, smaller back is option one. Tuck the toes under, option two, so you can take one hand to heel, other hand to sky, Mulabanda. Inhale, and exhale, reaching back, very good, so option one, your hands are on the small of your back. And I know if you know your body and you're in option three, that's fine. For option two, change. Other arm. Take the hands beneath the shoulders. Tuck 
tucking in, pelvic floor, belly button, press hands, shins to earth. Stay for a couple of breaths. Cat cow. Breathing in, arch. Breathing out, tuck, lift, press, squeeze. Stay with cat cow is option one. Take the hips forward and back is option two. Up dog, swan pose. I know that sometimes in other classes they're called different names, but they're the ones I was taught. You can also add the scoop. You can scoop through, lift, squeeze glutes, pelvic floor tucks. Elbows slightly bent, heart to sky. And you can scoop back, pressing towards your heels. Keep going. If you need to take a break at any time, child's pose. Let's do a downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift and press. If down dog is too strong, come back to your hands knees. And when we walk the dog, in the down dog, you're pressing from one to the other. Option one, if you're on your hands knees, It's like the old calf stretch, you press one back at a time. Child's pose. Let your knees find to the earth, sit back towards your heels. Any pressure on your head, make a little pillow out of your two fists, or you can rest on your hands. And return to cat cow. Marching on the inhale, tuck, lift, press, squeeze, exhale. If all is good, go to option two, up dog swan. And if all is good, option three, up dog, down dog. You can add the scoop. to the earth, wide-legged child. Open, press back towards heels, rest.
downward facing dog, slide the hands, tuck, lift, press, stay with your down dog for a few breaths, if you're on your hands knees you can walk the legs. Heels press towards the earth, hands press forward, knees press back. Flick your tailbone up to the sky. And walk, step, jump to hands. Stop in your forward fold. While you're in forward fold, you can rock a little. If your hands reach the earth, fold your arms. Did you know downward dog is meant to stop your hair from going grey? Bend your knees and rise. I can attest that that probably isn't the case for me. But I understand the concept. Twirling. Also, it would make you smarter, right? All that extra blood and nutrients going to the brain. You, yes, you agree? All smarter since you started yoga? Feel smarter? <laughs> circle. Oh, cross crawl first. Cross crawl and circle. When you get to the top, change direction. Good. Let the right leg swing. Arms march. So you can touch your knee or touch your toes. I'm glad you've been able to join us. Change legs, keep the arms. These are brain activators. The cross crawl, circling, anything that crosses the midline or you need to balance, helps you grow new neural pathways, definitely helps you get smarter. Let your arms swing, let your right leg get ready, and you cross the midline. So you may need to start slow if this feels a little confusing. Once you've got it, let it swing. Oh, sorry, Bill. <laughs> Very good. And change legs. Okay, let's do a balance. Mountain. Feel the balance on two feet. To the earth, to the sky. Shoulders back, Mulabanda, breathe. Send your breath to the earth and let the earth expand with your breath. On the exhale, visualize all tension, all distractions, release. Take your right foot to the front, inhale. And on the exhale, earth, on the earth for option one, lift for option two, heart to sky. Focus helps you stay balanced. Stay where you are for the next option. 
Stronger option, taking knee to chest, press, lift the spine. Stronger option again, hands to foot. You can stay wherever you need to stay. Take a step back, stronger. Extend your leg, press hands into foot, lift the spine. Lower leg is pressing towards the earth. Very good. Would you like another challenge? Oh, good. So your right leg, so your opposite hand, which will be your left hand, crosses over. And then you turn to the side. Stay focused. That's it. That's good. You're doing well. And release. Well done. And twirl. How'd you go with that one, Cody? Yeah, I couldn't see. I said this. Look at that one. Yeah. <clears throat> Cross crawl and circle. Any yeah. muscles still sore? Yeah. Any else doing okay now? Circle the other way. No. <laughs> She's got experience. What have you been doing? Learning. Circuit. Circuit training. Oh, good. Mountain. Left foot. Inhale. Exhale. Earth is option one. Lift is option two. Heart to sky. Strong legs. Mulabanda. Where you are is your next option. Hands to knee, pressing back, stronger. Stronger option again, hands to foot, extend, lift the back, focus. And for the challenge, cross your opposite hand onto your foot, open and turn to the side. Focus, 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 that really helps. And release, well done. Cross crawl, now if we were at the beach, I would have taken your photo then. Hope you did. I don't know how, unless someone else is with you. Circle. Change direction. And centre. From your mountain, take your right foot to the side, open, inhale. Exhale. Earth is option one. Start to lean. Lift the toe just off the earth. So if you need support, you can bring it back to the earth. Stronger option, star pose. Lift the leg, tummy in, lift the waist. Good. Stronger option again, you come back to standing. Take that hand onto the knee on the inside. Bend the standing leg so you love, slide your hand down until you are holding onto the ball of your foot. And then softly, slowly, focus, extend. That's good. Very good. your mountain. Left leg. How did you go with that one? Mm. I'm trying to look in the camera so I can see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rosie. Breathe in. Breathing out. Earth is option one. Lifting into star is option two. Excellent. I can see.
see my girls in the back, they're doing very well. And for hand to toe, also called panda bear in my little book. <laughs> I should be doing product placement. Oh, I'll do that tomorrow. Now, for hand to toe, you bend the standing leg, you slid your hand down, slowly extend to your capacity, wherever you are. Excellent. I see you, you're doing very well. And release. Well done. Twirl. One more. From your mountain. Right foot to the back. Inhale. Exhale. Earth is option one. Lift is option two. Aeroplane. And without touching the earth, bring that knee to your chest. Press. And release. Good work. Last one coming up. Take the other leg behind. Inhale. And on the exhale, here we are for option one. Lifting for option two. Shoulders back. Strong, long legs, arms. Tuck in your pelvic floor. chest. Good. And release. Well done. Lay on the mat. Start with a free choice back roll. So free choice back roll is whatever your body needs. You can do circles. You can rock from side to side. You can roll like a beach ball. <laughs> Happy baby, opening the knees, happy hands baby. to foot. Yeah. What's you know, happy baby? Yeah. Okay, so take your hands onto the inside. Place your hands onto the foot. Open. Press down towards the earth so your lower back is <laughs> flat. And then rock like a baby. <laughs> Some babies like to put big toes in their mouth. Just <laughs> keep that. I've grown out of that one. <laughs> I love big baby. Isn't it, isn't it wonderful how babies are so flexible? Feels good, doesn't it? You can keep doing free choice back rolls or you can do any posture you like. So it's a free choice opportunity before we move into meditation. So it's whatever you like. <laughs> My happy baby's a bit too happy. Have you done yoga before? No. Do you like it? I do actually. Do you like yoga, Michaela? Yes. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so if you're in a free choice posture that has two sides, change sides.
after meditation. You're either lying down or seated. If you need to, you can turn off your lights. You can grab an eye pillow or a blanket, depending on where you are, what the temperature is. And for meditation, the key is your breath and your willingness to let go. Breath in. Breath out. Let your diaphragm lower so it's towards the belly. Deep breath in. Deep breath, release. You can add an ujjayi breath, which is a little tiny constriction through the throat. Adds that tiny bit of resistance and helps you switch on calm. You don't need to do many, just enough to help you come back to centre. If you find your thoughts are all over the place, let them go. As you breathe deeply, letting go of thoughts, but you can keep positive or appreciative thoughts. They also help to lift your vibration. Notice how you are letting go. The resistance in your shoulders, relax. You don't need to carry anything. Let it go. And when you are letting go and you are lighter, you are able to expand your vision and manifest all those wonderful things that you've been asking for. Deep breath in. Soft release, let go. Relax your back and your spine. Relax your thighs, legs, feet. There is only this beautiful moment. You are completely safe and loved. Wrap yourself in a blanket of love. You can give that blanket a colour. Visualise your loving blanket all around you. Every breath and every moment. You are wrapped in love and peace and safe. Deep breath. you need to let go of. Visualize it moving out, flowing, let go. Any thoughts that you want to release, let them rise up and softly taken away. 
All of the resistance is being turned into magical stardust. You can feel yourself lighter, freer. As you let go. Surround yourself in your bubble of love, peace, highest vibration. You can give your bubble a colour just like you did your blanket of love. And this bubble surrounds you and keeps you safe at all times. The colour of your love bubble, you breathe it in. And you see it moving to every cell. Notice how all of your trillions of cells are communicating with each other, working together, enhancing your health, your prosperity, your alignment. Your health is improving every day. If there is any part of you that needs healing, intensify that light in that area. It can be emotional, physical, spiritual, mental. Intensify that light. Wherever you need it. And you will feel more resistance letting go. The fear is letting go. Any pain letting go. Knowing that you are beautiful, perfect, safe, abundant. With all of the skills and the tools that you have right now, you are able to create <coughs> and manifest all that you desire. Staying with your breath your intention and letting go, you will be able to move towards all that you want. Still flowing your deep breath. Starting to come up from our meditation, moving fingers, toes. Rotate wrists, ankles. Flow, stretch, moving your body. And softly, slowly bring yourself to a comfortable seated position. And place your hands on your heart. And send forgiveness to yourself. Forgive yourself for anything you did or said or thought that you think is out of alignment, is 
just let it go. Forgive yourself. on your heart, tapping on your head. I love, honour, approve of, forgive and accept myself just as I am. Breath. Change hands. I love, honour, approve of, forgive, accept and love myself. Place your hands to your heart. Breath in. Breath out. Good. We'll do an arm. Breathing in. And on. Namaste. of yourself doing yoga, we'd love to see them. <laughs>